and we are back. Spurheaded by District Supervisor Jim Matan, together with the school heads, Kabanituan District were conducted OKC MILFs and online kumustahan to support the implementation of K-12 MILFs in June 15 via Microsoft Teams. The online kumustahan was filled with messages given by CID Chief Priscilla Sanchez, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Enrique Angeles Jr., and Schools Division Superintendent Teresa Mababa. District subject coordinators highlighted the best practices, issues, and concerns through the consolidated presentation of each district subject teacher coordinator in every subject with the collaboration of all the teachers in the district. The data presented provides the opportunity to seek technical assistance from each education program supervisor to upskill teachers' performances. The subject area supervisors immediately give response to the presented issues, concerns, and challenges. Through OKC Melts, schools in District 4 learned and adopted the best practices to enhance teachers' capabilities in improving the curriculum implementation. This report was posted by Chiara Simplina of Cabanatua North elementary school. On matters about reaching out to learners, to reach out to a larger number of parents and inform them about important updates concerning the learners and a school, a virtual assembly via FB Live was conducted last June 18. The decision to opt for FB Live platform was brought about by the limitations of connectivity and unavailability of Google accounts among the parents of Pula Elementary School. The very reasons why some parents failed to attend the school's previous virtual meetings. In this virtual assembly, interim guidelines on giving awards and recognition together with the guidelines on the conduct of graduation rights during COVID-19 pandemic were explained to them. Seizing this opportunity of parents' attendance, the school head Leia Pauline Esquadro also presented the state of the school address. School's numerous accomplishments in various areas like pupils and teachers' development, community involvement, and school improvement were shown through a video presentation. Esquadro said that these achievements would not have been possible without the efforts of everyone. To further inspire them, Esquadro shared with them the message of Mother Teresa that none of us can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. And together, we can do something wonderful. This report was posted by Lea Pauli Esquadro of Pula Elementary School. On learning delivery modalities, the LBM2 portfolio of Ibabo Bana Elementary School beat the deadline one week before the date given by SDO Kabalitu and CP. This is the part two of Learning Delivery Modalities Course 2 for teachers, which is the practicum portfolio. In the last LDM pre-implementation module, teachers have learned that a portfolio is a tool that can be used to record and reflect on one's learning progress. Teachers in Ibabo Bana shared and imparted their connections between the module-based learning experiences and how this helped them in doing their actual tasks. Artifacts were prepared by the teachers, which serve as means of verification to see progress and evidence. Noel Samson, the master teacher and the lock leader of the school, rated the teachers and expressed his gratitude to his colleagues for their proactive response. School Principal Harun Deep Antonio and PSDS Eric Rodriguez 
congratulated the teachers for surpassing the challenges brought about the new normal. This report was posted by Deped Vija Bureau member Noelle Samson of Ibabo Bana Elementary School. Still on learning delivery modality. Amidst pandemic, Mayapiap National High School accepted the challenge to implement blended learning this school year 2020-2021 through the leadership of Principal Mary Jean Pascual Santos. Before the school year started, a dry run for blended learning modality was conducted last August 3 to 11, 2020 to test the possibility of implementing the said modality. The dry run also aimed to familiarize the stakeholders, the teachers and students to the process and to identify the things to be improved. The week-long dry run included distribution of books and activity sheets, online consultations, answering and checking of outputs, follow-up and feedback. As mirrored in the successful dry run, Mayapiap National High School fully implemented the modality through online consultations, teacher-crafted video lessons, and learning activity sheets, taking note of the observed conflicts during dry run. MNHS teachers crafted the MELT-based learning activity sheets per lesson aligned with their video lessons uploaded in the school's YouTube channel. To further discuss the topics, Online consultations were also scheduled to assist the students in answering their activities. The schools aim to accommodate all the students to give them a more engaging learning experience was successfully achieved through blended learning. As of now, the school continuously utilizes the said modality to ensure that students still learn by bringing the school closer to their homes. This report was posted by Gracelyn Mendoza and Jolina Rose Saragpon. In other developments, a validation of learning delivery modalities course for teacher was conducted at the Ansarile Integrated School from June 14 to 18 under the supervision of the Ansarili School Principal 2, Laila Pascual. The 40 teachers of the Ansarili Integrated School were divided into three lock teams to ensure that the suggested maximum number of members will not exceed each team. Master Teacher 2 and OIC Head Teacher Jocelyn Lopez, Master Teacher Evangeline Adrineda and Ria Ignacio served as lock leader of three teams. Pascual and her three master teachers attended the division online orientation on LDM practicum portfolio guides and evaluation form that was held last May 21 to ensure the successful completion and compliance of the participants to LDM course 2. Lack leaders and instructional coaches can access, download, and accomplish the prescribed consolidated reports template through the links given during the webinar. Before the actual validation, each team conducted online kumustahan to discuss the required artifacts and selected artifacts that can be included in their portfolio. Queries and other clarifications were addressed and technical guidance was also given by their respective block leader. Each teacher was able to comply with the given deadline and the school has already submitted the outputs in the district level before the deadline. Pascual said that teamwork and collaboration are two important factors that must be put into a practice to ensure the success of any activity. She also added that working with her dedicated teachers makes each work lighter. Based from the validation, 91% of teachers got an outstanding, while 9% received very satisfactory grades. This news was reported by Deped Lija Bureau member Jocelyn Lopez. On 
competitions, Lebron Jacob Cariaga, a grade 4 special science student of Mayapiap Elementary School, received the Bronze Medal Award in the recently concluded 2021 Heat Round Competition of Hong Kong International Math Olympiad. HKMO is an annual international Olympiad competition that aims to create a platform for all math enthusiasts around the world to come together for an educational and cultural exchange. This competition fosters students' interest and promote mathematical Olympiad all over the world. Subsequently, Cariago also received the Achiever Award in Math in the 2021 National Round of Philippine International Math and Science Olympics. PIMSO is also an international competition that promotes excellence and proficiency in mathematics and science, which was organized by the International Champions in Education, or ICE. Principal Lea Alvaran expressed her gratitude to LeBron's parents, Mr. Alfredo and Dr. Mercy Cariaga, for their unending support to Bond's competition. This report was posted by Mabel Ebuen, Dev and Media Bureau member from Mayapiap Elementary School. On matters about learning competencies, District 6 conducted a virtual kumustahan showcasing OKC Mel's video lesson presentation via Google Meet on June 16. The program was spearheaded by District 6 PSDS Maribel Saulo in collaboration with school heads and junior and senior high school teachers. The virtual activity was also under the supervision of CID Chief Priscilla Sanchez, together with the Education Program Supervisors in the Division of Cabaneto and City. The program focused on the District 6 Kumustahan Meet and Greet with the teachers, sharing of experiences and best practices among schools, discussions and assistance on issues, concerns and challenges faced during pandemic. Another highlight of the activity was video lesson presentation of teachers in District 6. During the conduct of the virtual Kumustahan, the CID chief reiterated the positive impact of the activity, especially to teachers where they were able to showcase their capability to produce quality learning materials such as video lessons. Science Supervisor Romeo Hippolito also expressed his admiration on the video lessons that were presented. He added that it is an effective way of presenting lessons which also serve as motivating factor for learners. On the other hand, Arani Palipo ng Supervisor Josephine Tabangay also commended the unity and cooperation shown by the District 6. Tabangay also added that the teachers who presented the video lessons seem to be from the Center for Teaching Excellence. This report came from Ana Lisa Palyok of Bakud Bayan Integrated School. On nationalism, in, in compliance with the National Government's Proclamation No. 374 of 1965 and Executive Order No. 179 Series of 1994, the Sanusip National High School conducted different related activities for the commemoration of the National Flag Days and Independence Day from May 28 to June 12. The celebration was spearheaded by Supreme Student Government Advisor Mario Cruz Jr. in cooperation with the Aralim Palipunan Department Head Imelda Sebastian. The making and display of the Philippine national flag entitled Proud Ako sa Matawat Ko kicked off the celebration. In addition, an advocacy video was made and was shown in the social media to intensify the school's commitment in the said activity. In that advocacy video, the school community, the students, and parents, voices were heard saying, Ako ay isang malayang Pilipino, 
at ako ay makikisa para sa paghilo ng bayan ko. On June 11 and 12, students were asked to watch informational videos entitled Mito ng Unang Walong Dalawigan o mga kahulugan ng simbolo sa matawat and watawat ng Pilipinas for the history of the Philippine flag. Those informational videos were sent by the teachers in their class messengers group chat. Teachers also asked their students to write a short reflection paper to assess the students' comprehension in the informational videos. Lastly, the school community changed their FB profile picture using the personalized frame made by the committee members in charge in program and certificates, Mr. John Carl Bayon. The school principal for Rosario Sebastian extended her appreciation to everybody, especially to the proponent and working committees with group chat, via group chat. She also expressed how proud she was that amidst pandemic, they were able to conduct such commemoration activities. This report was shared by Mario Cruz Jr. These are the news for the second set of this episode. We will be back after a few reminders from our studios.